Salutations, everyone. This is QKJJ back again with you know what? It's in front of your face. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give this a try, do a little review for you. Mm -hmm. So, we already have our onions and some mustard and some garlic going in the pan. Exactly. And you probably think it to yourself onions, garlic, and mustard. Some people may like it, others may not. Completely up to you. But this is just to give a little extra flavor. And uh like I said we're gonna jump straight into it. Mmm looks very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> All right, you all. So, uh, manufactured by Beyond Meats, of course, uh, in California. Ingredients. I'm just going to give this to Queen. And also, it gives you a diagram on how you're supposed to cook this. So, since we have the skillet uh, both ways, if you're going to do this on the grill or, or on the skillet, on the oven, whatever the case may be, first and foremost, keep it uh, refrigerated uh, for use within three days of actually opening it. And do not refreeze. Very important. Uh, cook thoroughly, of course, before you purchase, um, excuse me, before you serve. And then um, if purchased, frozen, thaw in the refrigerator before cooking. Consume within 10 days of thawing. We actually picked this up yesterday, so I'm right on the money if you can't count. Preheat grill or pan to medium high heat and cook for about four minutes on both sides um you already know depending on how you like it when it comes to how you actually cooking you can do a little bit more char or not completely up to you mm -hmm. depending on queen it's whatever so this is the ingredients for you yes and do not overcook this as well apparently that's really important i think with anything you shouldn't overcook it i'm just eager to see what this is going to be let's do this i'm gonna go All right now oh uh, just to let you all know, too, the interior of the palette will still be red or pink when fully cooked. So, oh I just want to my. make, I am a definitely well done, medium, well, well done type of well guy. Well done. Um, yes. Okay. Queen. Some people like their stuff still moving when it comes to the table. Me, no. So, what I'm doing here, I'm just moving the onions back because they were, you know, Season in the pan here. See that? That's what you want. Now, this is what we really want to see. My hands, I just got finished washing them <laughs> as well. I appreciate them having two layers here. If you're not, that's how you usually do. Mm -hmm. But just in case for those individuals that are crazy, you know, I don't want to see these crazy that are influenced to lick things and then put them back. I appreciate them doing this as a double layer um let me tell you all something the smell oh it smells like rice doesn't it yeah it smells like veggie hmm well it doesn't have any soy so i'm happy about that yes if that's you a know, really big thing if you don't know about soy do your research all right so what i have here is some sea so pink Him Himalayan, yeah, sea pink salt. Himalayan sea salt. And I'm just gonna do this for seasoning. Y'all already know. Bow, bow. All right. Black like pepper. Mm-hmm. Queen said a little bit more sea salt. I so did. You can't prove it. Like she said, it can't. You prove can't it. prove it. Just prove it. <laughs> all right, and uh, again, I do like the like like the fact that they actually have. Uh, You're gonna do it like they do in the in the <laughs> yeah the burger restaurant. Give you a close up of it. Mm -hmm. Want any other seasoning inside? I don't think so. We just try it straight up. It sounds like it's cooking. All right, it sounds like it's cooking. Just a little season. I'm not going to overdo the season. You already know us. <clears throat> you know how we are when it comes to uh, seasoning. So I ain't going to do too much. And on the back end. Some salt. Some salt. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. All right, John. All right. We are going to let this do its thing. It's bleeding, I guess you can say. It's bleeding? Yeah. It's bleeding now. Underneath. Wow. This was King's decision. <laughs> <laughs> that means she's putting it on me or something goes <laughs> for a while. Um, I'm just turning up the heat here, just a little, just a little here. Make sure that we're equal on all equal, sides like here. That. Like that looks like actual red meat, like freaking ground beef. That's weird. So four minutes. I'm just gonna set the four minutes per side. Yep, per side. If y'all know what that meant, I meant mm -hmm. that timer is on. Cause I just hate when uh, ground beef does this. Like this grosses me out too. When ground beef does that, but it's looking pretty. You know, it's cooking. Let's we'll see what it looks like. Interesting. It's still gonna be red on the inside. Yeah, that was an interesting takeaway. Was that factor? I have never, again, ever tried Beyond Meat. This is our first experience in general we hope that it's good uh, also we want to make sure that when that is fully cooked the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit so in order to make sure that we are safe in order to make sure that we are safe I am actually going to grab our thermometer and I would expect all of you to do the same thing especially if it came with instructions to do so again it looks like it's going to be juicy. Oh, yeah. Oh, the other thing I forgot to show you all is we have our brioche mm -hmm. already cut up here. Yeah, yeah. Let me open that up so yes. we can get a better understanding of what we're talking about. Yeah, you're going to have to grab the packaging because it looks like we just picked brioche up from no, <laughs> like some random. No, we would never do that. <laughs> all right. Here we go. So, we wanted to show you the brioche. You can pick that up. Mm-hmm. Imported from France. Rich in eggs, butter, and creme. Mm, that's all the bad things. <laughs> all the bad things. Oh my goodness, but it's so soft. I got a Texas toast thickness happening. Mm -hmm. King, you know, he's not that big on the bread, so that's good for him. Like, I applaud him for not being big on bread. Yeah, bread. I wish. I'm not a bread, bread guy. But he has his slices going over there, and we're gonna toast this bread to go with it as well. So at least the bread will be bomb if this <laughs> turns sour. But this looks like it's gonna be juicy, so I'm excited. y'all coming up on uh, 40 some seconds I wonder if it's going to be charred I wonder how they cook this at the um, you know, like Burger King in those places hmm. what do we all like to know <laughs> alright And that was the toaster going off, you all. I'm just making sure that it's nice and preheated because if you all ever had toast that wasn't fully toasted, you will understand the struggle. You will understand why I just did that. <laughs> I remember when I met you, you were warming up that microwave. Facts. I did. <laughs> all right. Whew. Let's flip these babies. They should be, you know, at least I can put you on the other side, you think? Looking a little juicy. Oh! oh! That's a little bit better than most um ground beef look after the first turn. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Turn that on. And now I do the close up, y'all. Wow. You know what they look like. Sausage. Facts. Yes, they do. 
and also Krabby Patties. Ha! Huh. Y'all, these are Krabby Patties. That's what they don't want to tell you. Because remember every time someone took a bite of a Krabby Patty, it was right on the inside? Mm -hmm. Let me just... I'm just going to do that right quick, just to keep a little bit of that moisture. All right, we'll be back once we get to the plating process. All right, you all, we are back. That was a quick eight minutes. Now, what we're going to do right now, because I want to make sure that it's looking good on both sides. Oh, yeah, let's flip it one last time. It looks so good. One last time, and yeah. and it's nice and fluffy. Like it was, it sounded really light when you turned it over. Versus ground beef is like very heavy. So this, I don't know, this may be a little, a little look for a moment. This may be a little thing for my side. Please, Kobe. Yeah, Kobe. Fine. Either way. Yeah, thank you. Alright, so we're going in the two cheese. Two cheese. Got the mozzarella. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid. Be you. <laughs> be you. Live your truth. If that's a whole bunch of cheese on top of your burger. I'm, I'm a big kid, you know. I like just ketchup and cheese on my burger. I'm fine with that and some lettuce. <laughs> Alright. Now I'm just going to do what you're supposed to do. Oh, yeah. Put it right back on top. And if you've cheese never had anyone, down. if you never had anyone do that to your burger, you weren't eating your burger. Also, while we're getting that situated, Guess what else is on the menu, y'all? That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. That bread. Let's go ahead and get a toasty. Toast the bread up. In our Hello Kitty toaster, of mm -hmm. course. Shout out to <laughs> the Hello Kitty crew. Queen's bread is going to go first. Why? Because I don't want mine to be sabotaged. So. <laughs> oh, y'all heard that, right? <laughs> so if my bread comes out sabotaged. Well, it's brioche. I'm still going to eat it. My girl likes to sabotage my bread, yeah. Look at that thick bread. That's at least four and a quarter. Size of a thumb. Size of my thumb. That's sad, y'all. Don't eat. Don't eat this much bread at home. No, please don't. Don't do, don't do as I say. Not as I do. Like the parents tell you. Guess what else we're gonna do? Some vegan, vegan butter. butter. And this butter is really bomb too. Now this unfortunately I believe has soybean oil. Mm-hmm. Alright. Excuse me, excuse me. You didn't see that. <laughs> And we're checking. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Folks, that's it. We're just gonna turn that off. This looks so good. I have high hopes. We gonna see. I have high hopes. This bread done? Almost. Come on now. You want a napkin? Quid. Oh, for the, um, I, I want to say grease. Grease and burgerness. But it's not even a burger. It's like a. No, it's still a burger. Are you going to put some of that on your burger? I am. Okay. Nice complexion on the. Okay. Aww. You! <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do it with my left hand. <laughs> oh, the yes. Thank you. Now our queen is doing that. You put your bread in.
bang. Try not to coat it too much in the butter. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What are you saying? Not trying to coat it too much in the butter. But you know you gotta get all the edges now. Nothing worse than a hard toast edge. Like when you go to the diner and they bring the t the uh, butter to you instead of putting it on your bread. Mm -hmm. How am I gonna put the butter on the bread now? Bread not even hot. Perfect. So checking the temperature. What's the temperature looking like? Oh yeah, that's it. I haven't gone too far down. You know that that's what happens when you go too far down. You end up touching the touching the bottom. Oh, okay. It's not playing. All right. This looks good. You heard that here, folks. Looks good. And I got some kale. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that that's that's the uh that's the kicker, y'all. I was like, how can we set this off? And I as me personally, like, how can we set this off? Oh mm, yes. Thank you. Mm hmm Let me do yours as well. well. Take your time. Hold on. I'll hold the camera, please. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Two bread. <laughs> Two. <laughs> You're too funny. Give me some action. Something in there. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. Now, uh, now for real though, uh, make sure that you do at least try to butter some of your bread. It does help. Unless you like your straight up toasty. You know, there's those folks out there that love a straight up toasty. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It give you a little grilled cheese action for her. But with this brioche here, see, once Ooh. you put it in the, to the toaster, you gotta find a way to bring it back down. You gotta, you know, find a way to make sure that you still got some, uh, still got some softness to that brioche from the original. You got me with the rest here. Rest of the kale. You ever try to stack the lettuce up on? Cause I like a lot of lettuce mm. on my sandwiches, and I feel like I can never get enough on there without messing up. Ready for me to put the bird, the first oh, bird? Oh on there? yeah, you know it. Uh, I'll put that right on. Put, put that right on top of that. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Seated. 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 Ooh, it's sitting to the. It's leaning. It's alright. Look at that. Look at the pineapple that. action in there. Yes, the pineapples and, and the, the Macintosh. Macintosh yes. in the background. All right, y'all. Going to come back once we have. Oh, one last thing. Oh, what? I'm going to be a naughty guy here. A naughty guy. No, you know what? No. I, I, I put the try. onions on I was it? going to put some onions, but. I think I'm the just people want onions. onions. I'm gonna just let this rock. Okay. I'm gonna just let it. I'm sorry, people, because I know which one. <laughs> but last thing is give uh, the people what they came here for. What you want to do? Uh, ketchup. Yes, ketchup and do you want uh, mayonnaise or no? We can do it. So this is how you properly establish ketchup. Don't judge the packets of ketchup. Please don't judge. See that there? Circular. Circular motion. That's how you do it in all the burger drinks. Put it right smack dab in the middle and then press the center. And then press the center. There you go. And we're going to do that same thing on my end. We're going to do not judge. Right on Hello Kitty's face. Yes. Now with me, I'm going to lie to you. I know it's all going in the same place. <laughs> Just to see that red on the inside, that would be like the first time I bite into a burger and see red on the inside. Every time I use mustard, I just think of um, Undercover Brother. You ain't Manny's. Mm -hmm. 
And if you haven't watched Undercover Brother, I don't know where you've been in life. <laughs> Under a rock. So yeah, you probably looking at this like, oh my god, I can't believe like they did all of this to this damn burger. Like this is us though. Like don't judge. Don't judge. <laughs> it's not nice. Cause judging doesn't help at all. Nor would you have gotten to this beautiful burger. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Salutations, queens and kings. We are going to indulge. This is beyond us, beyond burger. Mm-hmm. is going through right now. She's stacking both of ours. Yes. And I'm just, I'm just gonna keep it very blunt. Like I really, again, am shocked. I'm amazed. And I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I, like I, me personally, like I'm just gonna jump straight to it. Like <laughs> this has been on my mind since we picked it up. Oh my god! Look at that. <laughs> this looks so good. The bread is all nice and soft because of the butter. Y'all remember the um, should be Eddie Murphy, where he talked about in his stand up. It was a long time ago. Eddie Murphy had on a jumpsuit already he was talking about how his mm. friends were making fun of him because his mom made him a home burger all his friends were eating mcdonald's guess what i got our own burger this is a qkjj beyond burger he said he was gonna jump straight into it uh, i was the only one that jumped straight into it y'all yo this tastes like <laughs> You yeah. ever go to a carry out? You ever, I mean, not carry out, a cookout. Mm -hmm. And you're like, dang, their bread, their uh, burgers look nasty, look dry. And then you bite into it, and you're like, okay. Even though they ain't seasoning or nothing for real, that's okay. Hey. <laughs> hmm. This tastes like, excuse me, this tastes like one of those cheap um, cookout burgers. You know, the ones that come in like the 24 pack or yeah, 48, whatever it is. Lie. I ain't gonna lie. When I bit into it, I was like, mm. That's what I'm saying. It's not really red on the inside like I thought. Mm -mm. I don't cook, baby. <laughs> yeah, I went in here to cook. It tastes like those burgers they used to give us in high school. High school. In high school. I was actually going to ask you that. That's exactly what it tastes like. That's exactly what it tastes like. Well, you know you hungry. Not you. <laughs> I mean, but it's not bad, though. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. You're not bad. If I'm still eating it, y'all. <laughs> it's not that bad. Trust. Unless she's really hungry. I'm hungry. We're on the fence. <laughs> I'm hungry. We've been fasting all day, but this is bomb. This may be a move. I should go out and try it for yourself. Totally different perspective. It may be this brioche bread that's making it taste so good, so I would probably use the brioche. Get the brioche. Spend the money on the brioche. <laughs> Please go ahead and spend the money on the brioche. And you see me, I, I use a napkin. Faye is, she not on that level. Don't do that. Straight to it. Oh, wow. I can't even be mad. It even looked like them nasty burgers we used to get in high school. But they were bomb, though. You were Mom. hungry. Hey, man. Do rag on. There's no green on it. That's my kale, sir. Hey, man. Do rag on with the brioche bun. Mm hmm. Got my turbinette on. Haven't put these on the QKJJ website yet. We'll go check it out. QKJJ.org. Link in the description. Mm. Mm. We purchased this at Martin's, mm -hmm. which is giant for some of you. Mm -hmm. 
it was about the same price as um ground beef. I think it was like six dollars for two patties. Wasn't it five ninety nine? Five. Mm -mm. It was on sale. It was like five twenty something. Five something. Five ninety. Five sixty something plus tax. You gonna be around six? But yes, it, the the funny part is it is definitely competing with red meat. Mm -hmm. Um, I I think. I think it's something to get used to, like anything. It's something to get used to. At least I, at least Queen put out on the standard of what it tastes like. But it can only get better from there. So, at least. Right, mind you. And that's because we didn't season it or anything. You know, the burgers in high school, they weren't putting no onion powder, no garlic mm. powder. You mm. know, nothing to make it taste good. No Worcestershire. Mm, Worcestershire. <laughs> no steak sauce. And that's usually what we do with our burgers. Put mustard, steak sauce, all the extra. This was just salt and pepper, and it's pretty and brioche. Brioche mix. We can put cardboard in between brioche. Okay, I'm being realistic. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like Queen said, next time, put a little bit more seasoning. Mm-hmm. Besides, salt and pepper, but the uh, when I did beforehand. Season the pan with some garlic, some uh, onions, onions, and Dijon mustard. Dijon. Uh, Dijon. Not the yellow. Nah. Mm -mm. Not mustard. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm just really thrown. Like <laughs> I feel like my jaws look. <laughs> my jaws are filled. With food, <laughs> it only looks that way because I because my cheeks are so big, so it looks like I have food stored here, and then <laughs> there's food stored there. In the middle of the night, she'll do the, and, <laughs> and then I'll question it, and be like, nothing. Just stop, uh, because you're making me cry. All right, this is my um. My last bite. I'm just again. I'm, I'm really. Oh, you're really big, juicy. Thrown. You ate yours in like three bites. Men take really big bites. What is that about? Is that like an alpha thing? Like. Hmm. <laughs> that would have been two, three bites for me. Just the last bite. Wow. They're going to do that. <laughs> Call me out and they're going to do that. Because I'm at an awkward standstill. It's like, do I keep biting it down or do I turn it sideways? Turn it sideways. Take a bite for me. No. Me. I've had mine. <laughs> we know. <laughs> we so, know. to be fair, eight minutes plus preparation, mm -hmm. that's not bad. Ground beef, you have to stand there, mm -hmm. look at it, yeah. make sure it's dark. <laughs> this was very simple. Instructions are there for you. Um, you really can't go wrong unless you do one or two things. One, I'm not reading the directions. Like... They always tells me read the directions. Mm -hmm. All right, it's easy. Or two, you overcooked it, and I'm mm -hmm. happy that. Excuse me. I'm happy that I stopped and pulled it off right before it got to a point of being overcooked. We did not have any red within ours. Um, if you have, then again, that's completely up to you. I'm just I'm that type of guy. Ever since, I, no. I have to have yeah, no. medium well or at least well done. That's that's just me. But for this, mm -hmm. <sighs> it's worth a try. If you eat, I'm gonna be real. If you eat at the carryout, yeah, you can eat this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's been times where I've questioned some things, mm -hmm. but whatever it it was, if it was smothering some sweet sauce, who cared what it was? Whether it's human, dog, who cared? Who cared? Okay, it was bomb. 
So what I'm saying is, if you want to try this meat, you know, I know there's been like some uh, conspiracy theories going out there, <laughs> like it's human meat or whatever. You'll be fine. All right. Who knows what we've eaten <laughs> already? Okay. A lot of things get passed. Mislabeled fish. Yeah. A lot of other things. But for real, man, I'm. And you know that feeling too after you do eat. Yeah. Sometimes you get full or like the tired. Itis. Yeah, the itis. I don't feel it right now. I don't. Speak for yourself. I personally don't. <laughs> now, at the end of this, um, I did promise Bev if it didn't meet standards, then I would definitely go ahead and get her something else. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm waiting until Bev takes the last bite, or at least we're close enough. But <laughs> I want to ask while we're all coming here, what do you think, and do we need to run out? I'll say no. I'll save my cheat meal for the end of the week. Oh, that's going to be wings, I'm sure. You said what? That's going to be wings, I'm sure. Tune in next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, but this was really good. I was really surprised. You're surprised? I'm surprised, too. Definitely worth a try. Yeah. And, and another thing, when it's cooked as well, normally beef shrinks up. This did no, it did not. It didn't shrink. You know, whatever. Okay, you either gonna try, <laughs> you either gonna try it or you're not. Because seriously, the stuff that we've already eaten, you might as well try this. Now I want to try the uh, maple. It was like a plant based maple sausage there. Yeah. I could go vegan off of this. I see what y'all doing. But I'm trying. But the only thing I'm worried about is like long term. You know, it's not any long term. Test on it yet. Yeah, of course. With anything, uh, funny you said that. With, with anything that you do, take, you know, in moderation. I wouldn't yeah, eat this every day. Too much of anything. Yeah, it's not good it's not for good. you. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't eat this every day. Mm-hmm. Maybe others that or you may want to do it every day. Completely up to you. But off, off of what we had, salad, trying to introduce that back into our meal with the sausage. We'll definitely do a link for you. Probably do a, like a breakfast whatever the case may be whatever mm-hmm. whatever you want to see we'll try it but it's something new and it's something that you probably have seen and if you're thinking twice about it anyone can do this all we did was get some brioche mm-hmm. bread all we did was pick up some kale we added some packets of ketchup and mayonnaise <laughs> yeah. and then cut up some onions some garlic with some dijon mustard as uh just just some seasoning man and Salt and pepper, that's it. Winner. That's all you have to do. Queen well, said, if you eat at the carryout, you might as well just go ahead and do this. Mm-hmm. You might as well do it. Saying. Save you a few dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably like the same deal that you get at like checkers. You get the two for six or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got like two patties for six dollars. Yeah. Not to include the brioche and all that. That all was that. splurge. But that's, it, but that's what you want, though. You want to make sure that you're satisfied. If you've ever been someone and you haven't been satisfied, too bad. Mm-hmm. You know, you've already spent your money. Just keep it moving. <laughs> but in this instance, um, like I said, try it. It's cool. I mean, it's it's cool. It's new. Um, I, I'm, I'm done talking about it. I'm just <laughs> trying to wait for, like, anything like the after effect to see how you feel. I, I really don't feel tired. No itis. No nothing. No. So... Mm. I like it. Definitely go try it. Comment down below if you're going to try it or you had tried the um, Beyond Meat. Mm-hmm. Tried it at, um, where'd they have it? At Burger King or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us know. All right? Let us know. And let us know other plant-based things you would like for us to try as well. Exactly. There's a, another one as a competitor. We have not seen that in store yet, but mm-hmm. we'll set up for the Beyond until we find other resources. But that's not all. But it's all for now. Tune in next time. (laughs) 2KJJ.